so have you ever been playing age of slash and you're about to die you're really close to being able to get out but you just need your wide guard just half a second sooner just a split second sooner you'd be fine you'd be able to get out of the fight or you could go back in and win the fight but you, your wide guard just doesn't come off cooldown in time well that happens to me all the time and boy do i have a solution for you let's go ahead and check out this emblem what's good peasants my name is jb and today we're going to be taking a look at this uh pretty straightforward pretty standard cooldown build but we're trying to get on age slash today because i've been having a lot of fun playing age slash just like in my history i really enjoy the pokemon but i've had so many times where i've just been trying to or needing to get out you know just half a second sooner or just needing my wide guard just ever so slightly sooner and my wide guard doesn't come up and i die for it well now since we have these cooldown emblems in the game i thought it'd be pretty fun to go ahead and try a cooldown build with our good friend age slash getting our wide guards up sooner hopefully getting them more often and being able to survive and prolong ourselves in team fights a little bit better uh so i went ahead and threw a little bit of extra crit on top of the um cooldown reduction of course we do have uh the plus two in greens which doesn't do anything for age slash but a lot of overlap between green and black emblems so i didn't really have a choice it just made the most sense to get the most uh attack effect so that's what we have the green for in case you were curious so yeah let's go ahead and quickly check out the held items on our age slash as well this is a really really fun build the games haven't exactly gone as planned when i'm playing you'll see why at the end of this game but the build works it's really fun give it a try yourself we have muscle band attack weight and energy amp you can play this in either um, jungle or top path whichever one you prefer i prefer playing this pokemon in jungle personally but it's still a good laner i just think you know serena or machamp or lucari are better for that top lane stacking play style whereas Aegis slash is just a more you know fluid jungler that's just me though play wherever you feel more comfortable and uh yeah have some fun this is a really fun build it's a really cool pokemon give it a try i'll catch you all in the next one peace all right this team looks okay looks decent i don't hate it except i totally do um, their team is very squishy, so we probably won't have some great damage numbers, but we should be able to, like, get some good assassination -y type plays. I don't know, it's gonna be weird. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, a Solvest Snorlax. God, you love to see it. Tell me you don't know how items work without telling me you don't know how items work. Haha. <laughs> oh, JB, a Solvest is good, I promise. It, it works really well for me. Mm, no, it doesn't. All right, we got a couple stacks in. That's not good. Or that's not bad. Pop. Ding. I didn't get that somehow. And I'm also just going to die because they have an XP Serena just walking through my Snorlax. Cool. <laughs> Lovely. I don't know how the... I don't know, first off, how that guy got Steeny already. Or um, second off, how he killed me so fast. But here we are. Right, we get that KO. I'm gonna go in for this. Give me the stack. It's three. Leave me alone, dude. Why did it? Why did my auto take me? Wh whatever. It, it doesn't matter. I was dead anyway, but still, it's really annoying. We're fine. We're fine. We're just, you know, doing a little bit of feeding for stacks. That's how you play early game night. And if it's not, then you're playing early game night wrong. I'm gonna say, please stop trying to score 30 and help me get this KO, then you can actually score 30. <laughs> right, we get our Sacred Sword there, that's pretty good. Please don't take this from me, thank you. Alright, we're looking not the worst. Full HP Snorlax, running away, baiting me, you gotta love it, gotta love it. Buddy, you have full HP. You are playing a defender. Defend me. In his defense, Serena's completely overpowered, and there's not a whole lot he could have done, but he could have at least made he could have at least attempted to make an attempt, you know? Bro, 
Smokescreen is so cringe. Later, dude. Bonk. Get my wide guard here. Nice. Good job. Good push there. We're getting pretty stacked this game, honestly. We just have to worry about Serena, which, um, I don't know if you guys know this, the character's pretty broken. Alright, so is griefing cool? Uh, I wish you could cancel out of your wide guard quicker. Because I could have got those kills a, a lot quicker if you could. Let me kill this Gengar. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not. Bro. <laughs> that character is so dumb. Like, I literally couldn't even get, like, my Blissey couldn't even get one heal in before he killed me. Did we lose Rotom? What happened to Rotom? What the hell happened to Rotom? Who cares? It's Rotom. I, I would guess it broke their top, maybe? That's what I would guess, since their Snorlax was literally the only person there. I'm assuming that's what ended up happening, but who's to say? I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I am a notorious Rotom hater, and I was not paying attention. Oh, cool. There's a wall there. No, dude. Alright, we clean that up. Not bad, not bad. Alright, we're doing pretty well this game so far. All things considered. Uh, yeah, the Rotom's gonna spawn way before Dread, unfortunately. That Luke should be fine, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Luke, it's a Gengar. Our center just hasn't been taking jungle, so clear that for him. I've still got to position myself for drag because I, I, like I said, I truly do not care about Rotom. Their Serena is down here, unfortunately, so this is not going to be easy. I'm still going to try to just rip it, though. I think that's probably the play. Got it, nice. Can't complain about a Rotom. I really just use my uh ult to get like the <laughs> the attack raise and movement speed raise, because you this this Pokemon tonight is not good. I get all of those assists, you'd love to see it. You truly just love to see assists. That's what you guys that's what you guys came here for, right? Assists. Um, I guess we lost Rotom, because we no longer have a top lane. I guess I guess we lost Rotom. There are these here. They're not. Sag. This guy is, though. Okay. I'm heading to the bottom lane. There's probably stuff here, maybe. I don't know what our Snowlax is thinking, but uh, he's dead, so that's pretty cool. Are we get Gengar out there? That's pretty dope. Jesus. Alright, we trade. We have Blastoise Ult 2. Should be able to clean that up, right? TTV -er. Yes, you did. Good job, bud. No way, I was gonna say, no way a TTV -er playing Cinderace is that. Right? <laughs> right? Alright, they're hard pushing bot. That's fine at this point, honestly. Um, this actually isn't too bad of a fight. Like if we get a couple of shutdowns here, that's pretty good, and we do. So, good job. Good defense. Proud of us. Proud of us. Gengar's trolling around down here. Um, we need to make sure they don't get this. 
Can we like at least position for it? Like we don't want it, we just want to make sure that they don't, you know? Because that is base Rotom. We cannot deal with base Rotom on Zapdos. It is uh yeah. Good job. Good job. Excellent positioning team. No one's dead on oh, we actually killed their Gengar too. Nice. Good job, Snorlax. You did something, pal. Proud of you. I see that. I saw that Serena above me. Greninja's right there. Last place is down there. Oh, this is wh why did we rip? Why the hell would we rip there? We got lucky. I don't know why we tried ripping that. What a goal. Just uh, having a Cinderace on your team moment. Oh, I'm sorry, Blissey. Oh, I didn't score either. Shit. <laughs> Dogs are going a little bit crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear that. There, it's fixed. I told them to shut up. Maybe they listened. They probably didn't. Um. All right, at least got that goal. Are we in the lead? We are. Okay. We can give up 100. So. We should probably defend that. It's just you know. Oh, okay, there's people here. That's why they're barking. All right, that's bad. And we lost. Because we have two people defending outer goal. Cool, 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 cool. Really cool, really cool, guys. Really cool, guys. Really cool. Really cool team. Mm, I hate it here. Hate it here, 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 hate it here. That was just a gigantic throw. An absolutely enormous throw of gargantuan proportions. Oh boy. I'm tilted. That's a tilter. We'll check the damage though. Maybe it was good. Yeah. You lose. Two people defending. I think it was it was the Absol for sure. It was Absol and Serena ta or at the tier one. And then the other three just ran bot with ults and killed us. So uh, yeah. Pretty pretty gigantic throw there. But it's what it is. 65k, not bad. Anyway, that's the build.